All right, good morning, everybody. Sarah left a little bit ago to bring Eve to the vet for a follow-up to her issue she was having two weeks ago, which I hope that goes well. Um, she had an infection, and doctor, the vet made it seem like the medicine wouldn't be able to fix everything. She, she'd have to have surgery, and I'm hoping we find out today that um, hopefully she won't have to. She's been much better. Like Her side effects that she had before with scooting and stuff like that has pretty much stopped. Um, and we had a fecal test done, and that came back all negative. So hopefully I get a call from Sarah, and it's all going well. Um, having a productive morning. This is what my morning looks like. I just I have my work laptop here. Got some coffee today. I actually didn't do Expedition Roasters. We have some friends that sent us an awesome package from Hawaii. That's where I got that Alani hat. Um, it is making me think of wanting to go to Alani pretty bad. I might even look up flights and see how we could get around some way to get some cheap tickets for the fall or winter later this year because I would love that. Um, but they sent us some macadamia. There's a big macadamia farm and uh, manufacturer, like man facility in Hawaii, and they sent us some macadamia coffee, and that's what I'm drinking now. It's really good, a really earthy flavor because of the nuts, like the macadamia roast of it. Uh, but I haven't seen much action yet from the bees. They should be awake in the next 30 minutes from the sun. It's ridiculous that I know that now. Um, but I heard a guy knocking on our building maybe right before Sarah left, and so I think the specialist might be on property. Look who's home. Sarah said she did much better this time at the vet, but the vet hasn't given her an all clear for the infection. Yep, so they're still thinking it's gonna be surgery, um, but we're gonna have the antibiotic for another week, and he said at the very least it'll make the surgery easier, if that's what has to happen. We're considering going to see another vet after next week to see how much it's cleared up. Because he said it cleared up, but not fully. So we're, we're thinking about maybe seeing one other vet just to make sure. Because our vet like expressed how difficult the surgery can be. And how like there's some risks because of where the gland is located. And just like, I don't want to put her through another surgery in the stress. But I, I, we will if we have to, obviously. Right. But, but if there's a different medication or maybe something that you can be on for a longer time, um, we just want to know all the options. So, because yeah. she's been back to normal. Like yeah, she's she been super good the past week and a half. Yeah, it was it a couple days. It helped a lot. lot. After yeah. the first couple days of her on the medicine, she was like, it was like nothing. And we were actually pretty hopeful that Sarah would go to this vet and the guy, the vet would be like, oh, it's all better, it's all cleared up. Yeah. So, we'll see. But she's all tired because. It was a better trip, but it was still, uh, still a trip. Poking and prodding. Poking and prodding, squeezing things and whatnot. So she's probably gonna lay down for a little bit. But I gotta finish my work day and I see what's going on with these bees. I, nobody's been by since Sarah left. I'll probably take a walk over to the office in a couple minutes. All right, so I met with, I met with the like pest control specialist and they're gonna exterminate him. I guess it's like, there's too much of a risk. He can't relocate them because there's no guarantee that they're not Africanized bees because there's a whole thing about bees going extinct, but also in America, bees being attacked by a invasive species of African bees. So he can't take them away and bring them to a keeper because he could take them, bring them to a keeper, and the keeper could take them, and these bees could overtake the bees that the beekeeper is currently keeping because he's a beekeeper. At the end of the day, he's going to exterminate them and he doesn't say it looks too bad, especially with how narrow of a spot that they're entering. We haven't seen any today, so they're gonna, he's going to come back in a little bit, do what he's got to do, and hopefully we'll, be, uh, hopefully we'll be done dealing with the bees. Guys, we got freedom. <laughs> we left for the night. It's about 6 o'clock. We're going to Bees Magic Kingdom. Gone. Bees are hopefully gone. Well, I believe it when they're gone. We didn't have any in the apartment today. Yeah. Um, and there was three guys outside. The specials at came to, to treat it and everything. But hey, we're going to Magic Kingdom tonight. Yeah. We're going to meet up with Tyler. Yes. And hopefully later, Katie yeah. and Dustin, which we've never met Dustin before, her boyfriend. Yes. So. But you met Katie. She was our lovely new friend that was hanging out with us in Magic Kingdom the last time we were in Met. It's been like a week. A week or a week and a half. And Four, yeah. I know I saw that, that sounds ridiculous, but like for us, that's like a blast. Yeah, it's wild. So I'm like, 
itching to get into that main street and just start running around screaming. For your safety, remain seated with the doors closed, keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside while the tram is moving. I just want to point out, this is the purple wall, and Tyler thinks he's all cool and got it, got on Instagram before we did. Why? We don't care. This has been on Instagram like crazy. Don't worry about it, Tyler. But look at this. This is cool. I like it. I know a lot of people are going to be mad. But you have this now. I don't know if they're painting that or just this. They got the box continued? Yeah. I also forgot that it's like still busy for spring break. Like this is the line for Monsters Inc. Lab Floor. And we were like, oh, maybe we can just walk around, go on some rides. And we're gonna maybe go on the floor where it's a 20 minute wait. while we were on the people mover, but. I have one soaking wet shoe. <laughs> it's like no. Yeah. Florida. Just Florida. It's back, the rain is back. One of either, I'm calling it now, Tyler or I, we're gonna be that guy. Because we're going on Monster Have you ever been that guy? No. Well, no? I don't think I'm old enough. What? You're an age? No. You're a middle aged guy. No, because our friend Shane was it before. He's yeah. our age. Mm -hmm. I'm convinced one of us is about to be that guy. Bring up the logo, guys! Bring up the I hope to be a comedy genius when I grow up. Michael, what do you think you want to be when you grow up? An artist. An artist? Wow! That's a really colorful job. <laughs> waiting for that, but I always have a blast when we're in there. And Tyler and Sarah were mean, and they made the, if you've ever been on that attraction like that ride, they always make a joke about that guy's gonna buy everybody churros. And that was me, I've never been on, on the screen before. And so Sarah and Tyler are like, Peter's that guy, he's gonna be that guy. I was like, I've never been that guy. I was so excited. I was not that guy. I'm sorry, I felt so bad. You called me that guy and I wasn't. You're my that guy. He came in quick recovery, this guy. He's a smooth pocket.
This is brand new. It's a sunny eclipse. It's like a chocolate cake with an edible sunny eclipse on there. It's the same one they have at Restaurant and Sorbets, and it's delicious. Well, Sarah, I'll get some forks. My friend Jackie, who I just met at the at the desk, gave us gave me this, and this she called it a s'more, but it's like not. She said it's heated. It's like a hot pocket, but it's Ooh. dessert and it's heated on the inside. So we'll let you know how that is. And we got some chicken nuggets, some some pocket nugs. If you've been watching our vlog long enough, bacon cheeseburger. What do you think? Is it good? It's a spot. I'm so excited about this, Jackie. You don't realize how much fun and magic you just made for us. All right, thank you. Did you vlog it all in there? Barely. Wow. Thank you, Tyler, for convincing us to go eat unhealthy chicken nuggets. Thank you, Jackie, for making it more healthy with the free desserts. They know the parks, I know the food. Yeah. Clearly. Together, we're an unstoppable force of Disney fun. We're dangerous. We are dangerous. Um, we almost killed the lady getting mushrooms. <laughs> So there was an issue with Tinkerbell's flight during the fireworks. Oh, it's so bad. It was so bad and so sad, but luckily she's Nobody okay. Got hurt in the making no, of this vlog. Nobody got hurt, and we're not gonna put it in the vlog because we're not about that. We're not those kind of people. But we definitely got. Imagine it. Just imagine it, because we definitely Google it. I'm we sure you'll find Google it. it, yeah, because we definitely have photos and video of a very tragic Tinkerbell trying to fly so hard. Happily never. Ended. <laughs> You're good to go. Make sure you finish your drink before you get inside. Thank you. I forgot we had fast passes and the woman was about to give me a red card. And these two just started yelling at me. I was so excited. It says it was 40 minutes. I don't, I, that's why I said walking up. I doubt that that's 40 minutes. Oh, it smells extra like vacation. Yours. Did you reserve it for me already? What? Did you buy this for me? Yeah. Oh, thank you. It's a big. That's an actual hearse. That's, I know. Early 1920s, I think. Yeah. There's always my way. Our library is well stocked with priceless first editions and falling ghosts. For a Monday night, we are killing it. A 10 minute, 10 minute Pirates of the Caribbean. And, and we just got confirmation from Sarah that our friend Katie is showing up, even though it's like, is it almost 11? I'm sorry? Is it 11? It's about 11. It's 17. It's 10 15 and Katie's coming up now. So, we may be park closing this park. I just Monday, don't know. Monday, Monday, Monday. Monday. So we're waiting for Katie and Dustin to get off of Big Thunder Mountain, but Sarah and Tyler are down there playing checkers in the smoking section by cell phone light. And I just hear them giggling, like, what are they saying? What are they doing? Sarah's secretly really good at checkers. Katie's back! Hi! And we're, we're walking to go to... Cinderella! Tomorrowland, and we found Cinderella's slipper. <laughs> Don't touch it. <laughs> Don't touch someone, it. I hope someone's on the camera. Oh, but my thing is like, how did, how did it not get, like, was somebody wearing that and, like, they were running? <laughs> or did they fall out of the deck? And it's did perfect! Did show where we are? It doesn't make any sense! Or is it symbolic? Did they do it on purpose? Cinderella! <laughs> Did you know that a comet is a star with a tail? Look at those Come tiny, tiny feet. Mickey Mouse is a star with a tail, too. Small world, huh? Uh, <laughs> we're on, why is the double decker going at quarter to midnight? This is like magic. We're taking over the top of the bus. Pets, I'm moving over. Pat said we can ride it up and then we're gonna be at the front. <laughs> you sounded too much like it. <laughs> Woo, it's a late night. Um, Tyler dropped us off at TTC because Tyler. Hold on. Like our very first Magic Kingdom block. Yeah. We signed up this same way. The train's coming, it's gonna be loud. Thank you for following us along our adventurous first full day. It is good to be home. It is certainly good to be home.
But today was so much fun. I did not think it'd be this late of a night. But it was fun that Tyler came out and it was fun that Katie and Dustin made their way out. Yeah, even with the rain. And yeah, and we got on that bus. Fun. I think the kicker tonight was that shoe that we found by the Cinderella Castle. Oh my god. That was hilarious. And then the cast member happens to walk by and Tyler told the cast member, <laughs> so he's like, oh, there's a Cinderella left her shoe over there. And he was just like, yeah, that, that, happens. that happens sometimes. And like almost like so nonchalant, I'm like, yeah, that's just a thing. Mm -hmm. um, but thank you, Tyler, and thank you, Katie and Dustin, for coming and hanging out with us because it's always fun when we've got company. Yeah. But it's super late and we need to get home. So we're going to sign off here. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.